congratulations on the film, Mark. Thank you. That is, Did you watch the movie? I, of course I watched the movie. I Offended love it. or loving? Okay, good. No, I'm not offended. Well, I'm offended not and loving. Not even offended. <laughs> okay, good. It's my type of humor. Oh, I good. like that raunchy crew. I mean, that's... Half the things that Willie were saying are things that I kind of wanted to say. You know what I mean? Okay, good. When you suppress it a little bit. Yeah. So I appreciated. it. I think that's what Willie's like. Willie, people love him because he says the things you're thinking and doesn't feel a bit at all embarrassed about it. No, he's okay. his raw self. And you even said that, I think, in the production notes. Like, yeah. everybody has a little bit of Willie in them, and I yeah. completely agree. He's old school, you know? Very. <laughs> so. And I actually con I noticed a few consistencies, too, between Bad Santa and Bad Santa 2 from, like, the sex jokes and even with... Um, Billy Bob Thornton when he, you know, was screaming with food in his mouth. Were some yes. of those details in mind or important to you when making the second? Yeah, movie? we we wanted to kind of consciously do some homages to the first movie. There, there's there's that fine line between like, are we just kind of ripping off the same gags and kind of making the same movie, or are you just taking it like knowing that there's like there's certain touchstone moments that you want to kind of feel like, okay, we're going to pay that off here, you know, and having him like, you know, beat up that Santa because he's kind of a perv is something that we kind of take pleasure in, you know, even though like, wow, he's beating up another Santa. It's like him beating up a, the, the, the bully kid. It's like, it's kind of weird watching him beat up this kid, but I'm kind of enjoying it, you know? Exactly. And so you know, we, we, we already had a little bit of consciousness of that, but also trying to not be lame about it and, and feel like we're just duplicating the other movie either. And I didn't think that at all. I thought you guys did a really good job of making it consistent but it's it's its own separate movie which awesome. was really enjoying you know I enjoyed it to watch Great. Um, so did you was it difficult finding and coordinating all those Santas for the SantaCon scene oh yeah no, was that was that? a deal. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, the, the actual SantaCon and the and the and there's 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 there's, there's SantaCon conferences and there's also just all, like other kinds of like just gatherings of people all dressed in kind of Christmas stuff. We basically said we looked at them all and studied them and said, okay, these are all good, but I want to do something like about five times as big and 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 way more intense. So we you know we did a lot of it with with crowd duplication, as we probably know, with the visual effects. I only had half that big of a crowd and then just move people around, but but. But the idea of just you know we had three nights shooting all night in in the cold of Montreal basically trying to kind of like create this raging party that because the idea that she would disappear into a sea of Santas and that was her plan to get away the whole time always seemed really like fun right and, and then it just so happened that they had this big skating rink in the middle of the plaza and we said well why don't we just do the whole thing the the, the final shootout on, on the skating rink and then that became another whole thing to do too just because we like to make life difficult for ourselves but, <laughs> right uh, in montreal with the snow yeah, outside yeah but hopefully it was fun so absolutely yeah. and can your fans expect a bad santa three or is it too premature to ask <laughs> it is too premature to ask, but i have to say that billy and i talk about it and the first thing we say is like what warm weather environment can we shoot in <laughs> you know but let's but go back to it, arizona we, yeah yeah no, we have a whole concept of las vegas but like the dirty part of las vegas off the strip yep. you know and having like it's like the ugly Ocean's Eleven you know there, there's something to be done there we'll figure it out <laughs> alright well I'm looking forward to it thank you so much Excellent. I appreciate your time thank you